Emma and Mark, a young couple deeply in love, sought solace and a fresh start in the quiet embrace of a remote countryside. They yearned for a home that would reflect their dreams and provide sanctuary from the world's chaos. When they stumbled upon an aging Victorian house nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering pines, it seemed like destiny had guided them there. Emma possessed an insatiable curiosity and an artist's soul. Her hazel eyes sparkled with wonder as she peered through the dusty windows, envisioning the potential within the weathered walls. With an infectious spirit, she possessed an innate ability to find beauty even in the darkest of places. Mark, her steadfast partner, exuded a quiet strength and a heart full of compassion. Tall and rugged, with gentle blue eyes and a warm smile, he balanced Emma's boundless energy with a grounded presence. A man of few words, he had an unwavering commitment to protecting those he cared for. As they stepped across the threshold of their newfound home, the weight of history settled upon their shoulders. The creaking floorboards whispered forgotten tales, and the walls seemed to hold the echoes of previous lives lived within. Emma's fingers brushed the faded wallpaper, her imagination stirring as she contemplated the lives that once thrived in this very space. In their shared exploration of the house, Emma's adventurous spirit led them to the attic, a realm untouched by time. There, amidst the dust and cobwebs, Emma's inquisitive eyes fell upon a treasure hidden beneath a tattered blanket, a worn, leather-bound diary, its pages tinged with age. It was a portal into the past, a window into the life of William Harrow, the previous owner of the house. Emma's fingers trembled as she delicately turned the pages, her mind intoxicated by the unfolding narrative. The diary spoke of a man driven to madness, his ink-stained confessions revealing the insidious forces that had consumed him. The once idyllic home had harbored a malevolence that seeped into the very fabric of its existence. Emma's heart quickened as she read tales of flickering lights that danced like phantoms, casting ominous shadows that clawed at the edges of her imagination. She shuddered at the chilling accounts of whispers that slithered through empty hallways, their icy breath sending shivers down her spine. But it was the tragedy of the Harrow family that sent tremors of unease through her soul. They had vanished without a trace, leaving behind a void of unanswered questions, an unhealed wound upon the house's ancient bones. Emma's mind whirled with images of the family's fear, their desperate pleas etched between the diary's lines. As Emma shared her findings with Mark, they felt a growing unease within the house's walls. The air grew heavy, laden with the weight of an unseen presence. They exchanged knowing glances, their unspoken fears echoing in the silence. Their once promised sanctuary began to crack, revealing the sinister secrets buried deep within. Nightmares invaded their sleep, vivid and relentless. Emma woke in cold sweats, her heart racing, gasping for breath as the darkness of her dreams melded with the reality of their haunted home. Mark, usually stoic, found himself startled awake by whispers that seemed to brush against his ear, chilling his very soul. Emma and Mark, in their vulnerability, clung to each other, seeking solace and protection from the encroaching darkness. Their love became their anchor as they braved the unnerving terrors that plagued their home, unknowingly hurtling toward a confrontation with an entity that thrived on their fear. For it was in their deepening connection, in their vulnerability and resilience, that the stage was set for the malevolent forces lurking within the shadows to seize upon their fears, their souls, and propel them into a dark journey where their very sanity would be tested. Emma's mind became consumed by the diary's haunting words, her thoughts swirling with the mysteries it held. With each passing night, her visions grew more vivid, pulling her deeper into a nightmarish realm. But little did she know, something far more sinister lurked within the diary's pages, a hidden message left by an anonymous writer, warning of a deception so profound that it shattered her understanding of reality. As Emma shared her findings with Mark, their determination to unravel the house's dark secrets only deepened. They sought guidance from experts in paranormal phenomena, eager to decipher the cryptic clues and break free from the entity's grip. But amidst their research, a revelation emerged, 
a revelation that would twist their perception of the world they thought they knew? They discovered that the diary itself was not a mere historical artifact, but a conduit for the entity's malevolence. The words on its pages had lured them into a web of deception, blurring the lines between past and present, truth and illusion. The diary had become a puppeteer, manipulating their fears and desires, and the vengeful spirit fed on their unwitting involvement. Emma and Mark found themselves trapped in a nightmarish loop, reliving the same horrors again and again. Their obsession with the diary had become a self-perpetuating cycle, orchestrated by the very entity they sought to defeat. The house's history, the Harrow family, even the diary's anonymous writer, all were fabrications, carefully constructed illusions designed to ensnare their souls. In a cruel twist of fate, Emma and Mark realized that the true source of the curse was not an external force, but a manifestation of their own darkest fears and regrets. The entity fed on their vulnerabilities, amplifying their inner demons until they consumed every thought and emotion. The house had become a mirror, reflecting their own descent into madness. As the revelation struck them like a bolt of lightning, Emma and Mark faced an impossible choice. They could succumb to the entity's power, forever trapped in a twisted illusion, or they could confront the darkness within themselves and break free from its hold. It was a battle against their own demons, a battle that would determine their ultimate fate. Together, they mustered the strength to confront their deepest fears, to face the twisted reflections that haunted the house. They embraced the knowledge that their love for each other was the only weapon capable of piercing the veil of deception. With every step closer to the truth, the entity fought back, desperate to maintain its hold over their souls. In a final climactic showdown, Emma and Mark stood before the entity, their resolve unyielding. They refused to be defined by their fears, by the lies that had entangled them for so long. As they confronted the entity, their unity and unbreakable bond became a blinding light, threatening to expose the darkness that had plagued the house. With a deafening roar, the entity recoiled, its twisted form contorting in agony. It was weakened, but not defeated. It retreated into the shadows, biding its time, vowing to return with even greater malevolence. As Emma and Mark emerged from the house, a heavy silence hung in the air. The weight of their ordeal still clung to their weary souls, but a flicker of hope burned within them. They knew that the battle was far from over, that they had merely scratched the surface of the entity's true power. Their journey had brought them face to face with the entity's existence, revealing its insidious nature. They had glimpsed the darkness that lay dormant within themselves, the fears and regrets that the entity exploited. Now, armed with this newfound understanding, they prepared for the final confrontation, bracing themselves for the ultimate descent into madness. In the aftermath of their confrontation with the malevolent entity, Emma and Mark found a brief respite. The house remained eerily silent, as if the darkness that had plagued them had retreated into the shadows. A glimmer of hope flickered in their hearts, and they dared to believe they had triumphed over the entity's influence. Days turned into weeks, and the silence persisted. Emma and Mark cautiously resumed their lives, desperately longing for normalcy, but an unsettling thought crept into their minds. Had they truly defeated the entity, or was it merely biding its time, waiting for the perfect moment to strike back? Their doubts grew stronger as subtle signs of the entity's presence resurfaced. Flickering lights returned, accompanied by whispers in the dead of night. Shadows danced on the walls, elongating and contorting in sinister shapes. Fear clutched their hearts once again, and their sanctuary became a prison of relentless torment. Emma's visions intensified, blurring the line between dreams and reality. She saw glimpses of the entity's true form, a grotesque amalgamation of twisted limbs and piercing eyes. The diary, once a source of fascination, now revealed disturbing messages of impending doom. Mark too fell victim to the entity's wrath, his sanity slowly unraveling under its relentless assault. As they fought to maintain their grip on reality, the house itself seemed to conspire against them. Hallways shifted and rooms transformed, disorienting their senses and trapping them in an ever-changing labyrinth. 
They felt the walls closing in, suffocating them with an oppressive darkness that seemed to seep from the very foundation. Desperation set in, and Emma and Mark sought out every possible means of escape. They consulted paranormal experts, delving into forbidden rituals and incantations in a desperate bid for salvation. But with each attempt, the entity's grip tightened, its presence growing stronger and more malevolent. Their once unbreakable bond began to fracture under the weight of their torment. Fear and paranoia eroded their trust, and their love became tainted by suspicion and accusation. The entity exploited their vulnerabilities, driving a wedge between them, ensuring their eventual downfall. Emma, plagued by haunting visions and the whispers that echoed in her mind, descended into madness. Reality fractured before her eyes, and she lost the ability to distinguish between the entity's illusions and the remnants of her sanity. Mark, too, succumbed to the maddening influence, his mind a labyrinth of fragmented thoughts and fractured memories. In their final moments of clarity, Emma and Mark realized the horrifying truth. They had never truly escaped the clutches of the entity. It had lured them into a false sense of security, allowing them to taste hope before mercilessly snuffing it out. Their efforts to fight back had only fed its power, granting it dominion over their souls. As the darkness consumed them, Emma and Mark became puppets in the entity's macabre theater. Their descent into madness was its triumph, a testament to its ability to shatter the human spirit and manipulate the very fabric of reality. They became trapped in an eternal cycle of torment, forever entwined with the malevolent force that had claimed their lives. The house, once a shelter from the world, became a mausoleum of their shattered dreams. The entity's laughter echoed through the desolate halls, a chilling reminder of their defeat. Their story became a cautionary tale, a grim reminder of the insidious nature of evil and the frailty of the human psyche. As the entity reveled in its victory, it slumbered, content in the knowledge that Emma and Mark would forever be ensnared in its twisted realm. The house stood as a monument to their tragic fate, its walls eternally haunted by their tortured souls. Subscribe, like, and comment a story you want us to generate. Click the playlist to see many other stories.